The finale of the concerto is unlike anything we've heard so far. It's positive, it's uplifting, and it opens with the most spectacular statement, reminiscent of an alpine horn call. This movement truly confirms Bartok's position as a master of orchestration. There are wonderful details to be found in the score, such as cellos strumming their instruments, more like an Eastern European folk band. To melodies which literally zoom past at breakneck speed. Although this music has a 20th century sheen, Bartok uses older musical forms such as fugue and canon in the concerto. Imitative entries play a key role in the structure, literally racing through each orchestral section. The fifth movement appears to promise a happy ending and is a million miles away from the dark opening of the concerto. However, with a triumphant end in sight, Bartok plunges the audience into a moment of sheer terror. <laughs> The string section plays Sul Ponticello by bowing very close to the bridge. This creates a terrifying texture that sounds more akin to a horror movie. Bartok's music is a stunning sonic adventure. When you consider how ill he was when he wrote the concerto, this is anything but a requiem for a dying man. The music is dramatic, imaginatively orchestrated, and requires precision and virtuosity from the players on stage. It truly is a concerto for the entire orchestra. Mm -hmm.